Well, good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another morning of SJK Online. And as always, we're going to go over first to get our warm-up video from Peter. So let's go on over to Peter's house. Dad, what are you doing? Oh, how about time you guys turned up? Good morning, 118, 118. Good morning, everyone. Remember we played football last week? Well, we're not doing that this week. We've just come to our local park and um, we're going to do a bit of distance jumping this morning. You'll see we've laid out a course here. It's two meters long in this deserted car park where we're coming out for our daily exercise. We uh, are going to do some uh, squats, we're going to do some jumping and we're going to need to get fit. So uh, first of all, since we're lined up, let's do some squats everyone. One minute, one minute. Put your hands out and bend the knees. Let's do ten. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can do that yourself, just at home or in the back garden. We live in a bungalow, so we have to come here to find a step. And you can do steps as well. Ready? One minute. One minute. We're going to do some steps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm feeling warmed up now. I'm ready for the squat jump. So static jump, first of all, we've marked out two meters right here, almost like a car parking space. Two meters and see if we can jump it from a static position. Keep the legs down in that squat position. And we're going to propel, uh, propel forward. Three, two, one. Oh, it's a new world record. 160, 160 centimeters. Okay, one one in. Put your toes on the line. Let's have a go, three, two, one, go. And it's another world record. It's 130. Well done, are you gonna have a go? Yay, and one, one, eight, are you ready? From a static position. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's another world record, 20 centimeters. Okay, I'm gonna try and beat my time, uh, my distance, have another go at it. You get better the more you do. All you need is a tape measure, put it in your garden. Even in your living room, just watch out you don't uh, break anything around you. And same as last time, 160. Here we go, 3, 2, 1, go! Well done, 130. And the last but not least, one more way. Are you ready? Yeah. Go! She's oh, in my way. Thank you, go! Oh, oh well done. Oh, oh up you go. Now, we're going to go over to the grass for our long jump. Make sure you do this next bit on a grass surface because we're going to take a run and jump. We marked out our course one meter, two meter, three meters, four. See how far we can do with the long jump. So take a, a run up to this, maybe about four or five meters. You probably can't do this in your living room, so do this outside, maybe in a park or maybe in your garden if you've got one. So take a run up and then jump off one of your strongest feet. enjoyed that warm-up video that was good crack wasn't it well now what we're gonna do boys and girls is that we're gonna sing a new song and this song is called counting on god it's a great song and it's all it all talks about how we can count on god no matter what 
So let's sing this wee song together. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go on over and we're going to do this week's challenge to see what this challenge is. And Hannah is the one who's bringing us the challenge this week. So we're going to go over and see what Hannah has in store for us. This week's challenge is apple bobbing. So you've got exactly one minute to get as many apples out of the bowl as possible. Ready, steady, go! Well done, Naomi, and you got them all out. Brilliant. Naomi's the winner. Okay, now I hope you're ready to laugh because we'll have Zag and Enya now with a couple of couple more jokes for us with what's the crack, Enya and Zach. So let's go on over and see what these jokes are. What's the crack with Enya and Zach? What did one eye say to the other eye? 
I don't know. Between you and me, something smells. <laughs> what did the police officer say to his tummy? I don't know. You're under arrest. Ha <laughs> Okay, now we're going to continue our wee story, boys and girls, about Jonah. And last week we left the story with Jonah waking up to a storm that surrounded him. Before we continue this story, have any of you ever tried to hide something from your parents? Something that you've done wrong. Maybe you've taken your mum's favourite necklace and you've broke it. And in a panic, instead of telling your parents, instead of telling your mum and saying, listen mum, I've broke your favourite necklace. Instead of doing that, you panic and you put it back and run away. And pretend that nothing ever happened. Pretend that you never even touched that necklace. You think to yourself that nobody will ever find out that it was me. I can just hide that from other people. Because they won't find out. Or maybe you jumped from midway down your stairs. And you cracked a tile. And again, instead of telling your parents... You pretend it never happened. You hide the fact that you did that. And when your parents see that this has happened and they ask you about it, you deny it. You're like, no, 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 it wasn't me. You think to yourself, I can get away with this. I don't have to tell them. You know, that bad thing I've done, they'll never know it was me. For me... Boys and girls, when I was young, I used to love sugar. I used to love sugary things, sweets, anything, chocolate. I used to love it all. And I had to go to the dentist time and time again because I just kept eating sweets. And my teeth were starting to get all rot. And luckily I got another set of teeth. But my mum and dad sat me down one day and said, you can't be eating so many sweets. And so they didn't allow me as many sweets. But when my mum and dad weren't looking, I would run into the kitchen and I would open the jar of sugar. I would take a teaspoon and I would take a teaspoon of sugar and eat it. And I thought to myself, nobody's ever going to know. You know, I've disobeyed my parents, but nobody will ever have to know. Nobody knows I've done that. I haven't told anybody. And just like what I did with, with the sugar, Jonah had disobeyed God. And instead of telling the sailors what exactly happened, all he told them was that he was running from God. He didn't tell the sailors what the reason was for him running from God. He thought that his secret would be kept from them. He thought that he could hide the fact that he had disobeyed God and that, you know, this bad thing wasn't going to be revealed. But it does get revealed. And this is what we're going to learn today and so let's continue this wee story and find out what exactly happens and so Jonah woke, woke up to discover that a huge storm surrounded them and he knew that it was God and all the sailors got together and they rolled a dice they cast lots it's a wee bit like rolling a dice to see which of them had offended the gods and caused this awful storm and when they did this, it all pointed to Jonah as the person who caused the storm. And the sailors looked at Jonah and they said, why has this awful thing come down on us? And then they started asking questions about Jonah. They started asking him, who are you? What is your line of work? What country are you from? And what is your nationality? 
And Jonah answered them, he said this, I am a Hebrew and I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. And when the sailors heard this, they were terrified. For he had already told them that he was running from God. And so they said, why did you do it? Since the storm was getting worse all the time, they asked him, what should we do to make this storm go away? Throw me into the sea, Jonah said, and it will become calm again. I know that all this is my fault. But instead, the sailors rowed even harder to try and get the ship to dry land. They didn't want to throw Jonah overboard. But no matter how hard they rowed, it didn't make a difference. They were still in this terrible situation. And so they stopped and they cried out to the Lord, Jonah's God, and they said, O oh Lord, they pleaded, don't make us die for this man's sin and don't hold us responsible for this man's death. O oh Lord, you have sent this storm upon him for your own good reasons. And then the sailors picked up Jonah and threw him over into the raging sea. And the storm stopped. The sea was calm. And the sailors were saved. And the sailors were so amazed by God's power that they offered God a sacrifice. And they vowed to serve him for the rest of their lives. But next week, we're going to find out what exactly happened to Jonah when he was thrown off into the sea. But what can we learn from this wee part of the story? What, what, what are some of the things we can learn, boys and girls? Well, just as I, just as I asked you at the start of our wee story, have you ever done something wrong and tried to hide it? Jonah tried to hide the fact that he had disobeyed God, thinking that he could get away with it. But eventually he had to explain to the sailors why he had ran away from God. He had to own up to what he had done and explain why this storm was his fault. And sometimes, boys and girls, the bad things that we do get found out. People find out about them. But sometimes we can hide it. Sometimes we can hide our sin, all the bad things that we do. Sometimes we can hide it from other people. And sometimes we can get really good at hiding stuff from other people. But just as we learnt before, a couple of weeks ago, you might be able to hide things from other people, but there's no hiding your sin from God, because God sees everything. And so God sees every sin that you've ever done, even the ones that you've tried to hide from other people. And this can feel a wee bit scary, can't it? Because God has promised that one day he is going to come again to judge the world. And all the bad things that we have done, God is going to judge. But God has given us a way out. And it's through his son, Jesus. Jesus is the one that is holding his hand out to you this morning, boys and girls. And he has, a, a, he has in his hand a gift. And that gift is freedom from the sin that we do. All the bad things that we have done. It's freedom from that. Freedom from the judgment of God. A close and intimate relationship with God. And forgiveness through Jesus. 
This is what God offers us, boys and girls. He hasn't left us. He's given us a way out. He's given us freedom through Jesus. All of us are like Jonah, boys and girls. All of us have done bad things and have tried to hide them from other people. And God knows that all of us are sin, sinful people. But God promises that if we trust in Jesus, then we can have freedom from that sin. That we can have life everlasting with him. And I think that's amazing. And I hope, boys and girls, that you, sitting back at home, really think about what God offers you this morning. Because it's the best gift that you could ever be given. And so thank you all for listening so well. So now we're going to go over to Fumi, who is going to bring us our memory verse for today. Hi everyone, going to tell us about our memory verse for today. God hates what we've done wrong, but he loves us. He gave us gift when we say sorry. So the memory verse is taken from Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6, 23. Okay, thank you for me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and sing another song. And that song is God is Bigger. So let's sing this song together. Life can get us down Things that happen make us frown Slip on a banana skin Trip and fall into a bin Sometimes we just wonder why Things that happen make us cry We get ill or hurt ourselves But we can always tell each other We can always tell each other God is big Sometimes people make us sad Wind us up and make us mad Call us names or pull our hair Laugh about our underwear Sometimes we feel on our own Things that happen make us grow Nothing seems to go our way But we can always tell each other We can always tell each other
Well, now it's time for our craft, boys and girls. So, today's going to be a wee bit different because I want you to use your imagination. All you're going to need is a pencil, a piece of paper, and some colouring pencils, and maybe if you want some felt tips as well. All I want you to do is, with a blank piece of paper, simply I want you to draw on that piece of paper the boat, Jonah's boat, and the waves, and the storm around them, and maybe Jonah getting thrown off the side of the boat. And so to help you picture what sort of thing that you, should, you could do, um, I've done my own wee one myself, so that's what I've done. So I've got, got the boat, I've got the sailors at the top, and they are throwing Jonah off into the sea. We've got the lightning, we've got the storm, the rain, the waves, all of that, you could do that yourself. So that's really what the craft is. But you can be as creative as you want. And so if you have different colored paper in your house, you could even put blue colored paper for the sea. You could put brown colored paper for the boat. You could put gray for the clouds. You could do all that. So you could, to make it a wee bit more crafty. Um, and then what I want you to do is to send a picture of your finished drawing to me. Get your parents to take a wee picture because there's gonna be a prize for the best, most creative drawing you can do. So that's really it. And the, the winner will be announced next Sunday. And so that's all you need to do is to draw your own version of Jonah getting thrown off into the sea. And that's my wee version of it. But you can be as creative as you can be. So, that's the craft, and I hope you do well, and send in those photos when you're finished. Okay, boys and girls, that's us. Another great morning of SJK Online. I hope you've really enjoyed it, and thank you to everybody who was involved in making this video. It's been great to, to put this up again, and we'll be back again next week. Don't forget about the wee challenge I've set for you with creating your own picture of what, what it was like when Jonah was thrown overboard. So I'll be looking forward to seeing those photos from your parents. See you later.